And here we are. We're here with the Shanghai Jiao Da Guo Sai Finals Two in the in the A Division. So this is one of the the most competitive you know, tournaments in China so far. I think it probably is the most. You know, I've seen teams like you know, Nine One Two Three, Extra B, you know, their sister team, and even One Five Two Two are here. So just all, a lot of a lot of amazing teams at this at this tournament here. And in this match, we're gonna see some some really some really amazing plays. Honestly, uh, we can see that in auto red is gonna it's gonna take a pretty pretty big advantage. I think they're gonna be able to you know, fill up an entire full goal. Really, a dominant performance out of their auto here, and they're gonna tie on these two goals. So we're gonna see exactly how they play this. Now, one difference that they uh, Compared do compared it to the you know the uh, American autos is that you know they don't really because I see a lot of teams uh, in the U.S. actually clear those corners in auto and you know, they realize that you don't actually need to so what they do here is you know they do a really quick quick drop right before that third goal you can see they just drop that goal in not even going to clear the corner and they're going to take this goal or are they because blue blue is even faster blue's going to be even faster they're going to drop that goal to their teammate and quickly get through these cracks and take that red goal away and i think what should have happened here is i think this red team should have taken that goal and defended this this uh choke point right here right they should defend that choke point so their teammate could have gotten this goal for free and, and you would you can see this happen just now with the blue alliance you can see here that the blue alliance is actually going to defend that choke point from red and that gives blue time to take that third goal right the new third goal, pretty much, because here, after Red Alliance fails to, to take this goal, they're first. They have to. They have to to go and try to steal this goal, right? And you know that this is this is a pretty good spot for Red still because Blue, you know, they're, they're clearing the corner right now. They haven't gotten that goal into the corners yet, so you know they have to get get through the choke point. But but this other Blue Alliance knows that really well, and they're going to be able to protect that. They're going to be able to stop them from getting through. And that you know that's gonna gonna get blue one of those three win conditions right those three win conditions being you know having that third goal winning auto or having control of those wall stakes and now red is gonna you know quickly take back control of of, of those wall stakes and you know get that well, get one of those win conditions too all right now red has two of them the blue says no -uh. we're gonna we're gonna take those wall stakes back and that's exactly what they do and now. Now red is is kind of down now because you know they they only they have auto right but blue has now more wall stakes and one thing I do notice about a lot of a lot of drivers is that they they overlook right they they, they overlook and they just overextend so they're like a lot of people are just like hey we're gonna we're just focus on you know ourselves so we're gonna score wall stakes but they don't really focus on the opponents and here blue does a great job of focusing on the opponents. And as they, you know, they're, they're about to go for this ring, right, to kind of fill this wall stick up. But they're like, hey, Red's going to go for, come for this wall stick. So they're going to back up and defend, right? Because, you know, what is more valuable? It's more valuable to hold that wall stick control than to just let Red score a ring. And, you know, so they're going to just hold on to that control by parking parallel, right? So then whenever Red goes behind them, they push back. And if they go on the side, they just sit parallel, right? There's nothing that you can really do here. Really, really powerful move. By the blue alliance there and they're gonna quickly quickly go and grab that wall stake from red and you can see that's kind of just you know another showing of just how red overextended here and they overextend trying to chase blue into that corner trying to get that corner control but that results in blue taking that top stake and red has to go for this wall stake now and they don't right because this is so empty right a lot of you know drivers are just gonna or even drive teams are just gonna they're just gonna like you know be over focused on one thing right you have to you have to learn how to how to you know handle the stress and be and be open to, to all these opportunities on field right because they could be doing so much right now right they can be getting getting these they can be getting this wall stake but they're gonna fight blue over that one and you know and there's just no not a space to to be playing there's not you know there's four robots in this in this just small area there's one eighth of the field right here right kind of the tiles so like it's just not enough space to be, to be playing to be playing well right and blue it's so easy to be defended off if there's not enough space for you to play so i think definitely they should have gone for this wall stick so much earlier and you can see that you know when they go for this this time they're gonna they're gonna miss 
they're gonna get freaked out. They're gonna miss. And now, now, because you know, if they went for this earlier, like 30 seconds earlier, they could have gotten this so easy, right? If they got this, if they after blue takes takes their top ring, they could just come back and take their top ring. There's nothing that, that blue can really do, right? They're so much closer to this than blue is, and blue's not even facing the right way. So like they can really, they just really gotta pay attention to what's open at what at what moment because you know this is this is kind of you know they kind of are in the groove of it now they're, they're kind of like lost their lost their flow right running into that pole and you know not getting that wall stick on and seeing blue get a full full stake over there and they're gonna miss and blue's gonna take advantage of them you know not being in that flow they're gonna do a quick 360 around them and they're gonna defend them and i think they're gonna go get that ring on as well yeah they're gonna get that ring on as well in red what's interesting here is you know they they have that ring in their lady brown still but they're gonna get the D, they're gonna still gonna be able to get the d score and how they're gonna be able to do, do that is you know, they're gonna use the, the the lady brown right they're gonna push the ring off of their lady brown with the wall stick ring and they're gonna d score that as well right but however that that does jam their their lady brown momentarily and and that takes and, and that moment is enough for the timer to go down to 15 and the other blue lance leaves and defends the red while this this blue lines quickly gets two more on and fills that entire entire stake full with blue and this match is actually a super close match uh 34 from red and 38 from blue right so you know if red would have filled this goal up to five they would have tied at six they would have won so just to show that you know those small points really add up really excellent match here from both alliances right this is the Division finals once again. Division A finals in the in the nationals at China, at Shanghai Jiaoda.